It is May 17th, 2013, and we've got a good first show to you for you today. Include with this day in history, top 10 weird or top weird fact of the day, emails and tweets, and of course, any of you who join us online during our broadcast. We're always welcome to have you at bevocal.com. And just a reminder to follow us on Twitter at the Skeena Beat. We will be sending out tweets before each live broadcast. And you can send us a tweet or email, and we'll do our best to answer any questions you give us. Of course, you can reach us on Twitter, at the Skeena Beat, or email us at the Skeena Beat at gmail.com, and of course, our new blog that we just got up and running today theskinabeat.blogspot.com It is still under construction, so please be patient. And in a moment, we will begin on this glorious day. This day in history. On this day in 1681, King Louis XIV of France sent an expedition to help James II in Ireland, and as a result, England declared war on France. Also on this day in 1756, England declared war on France again, which started the French and Indian Wars. On this day in 1999, Alex Trebek received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But everybody was too busy watching Wheel of Fortune to attend. On this day in 1875, the first Kentucky Derby was run in Louisville, Kentucky. In 1985, Bobby Ewing died on the season finale of Dallas, but returned the next season. I guess the writers thought no one would notice. And on this day in 2007, trains crossed the border between North and South Korea for the first time since 1953. 1953. As one old man put it, I was a young boy when I first got on this train. And that's this day in history for May 17th. Weird Facts Today's Weird Fact Excite.com once had a chance to buy Google for $750,000 but turned it down. Now for those of you out there who are saying Excite who? Excite was a search engine in the 90s. From 95 to 98, it was sort of the top dog, as it were. When Google came on the scene, 
Uh, the Google executives offered to sell themselves to Excite, but were turned down. Google went public in 2004 with a share price of $85. Today, a share of Google is worth about $812, and the company brings in over $50 billion plus a year. Excite.com, after they turned down buying Google, merged with the At Home Network in 1999. By the third quarter of 2001, their stock had fallen to $1 a share. And in October of 2001, Ex the Excite at Home Network filed for bankruptcy protection. And by 2002, all assets were sold off. It just goes to show you. Somebody had offered if somebody had offered me Google for that much, I would have bought it. And now, time to throw it over to some email and tweets. Email and tweet time. We received an email from John in Vancouver. And he writes, How do you get out of doing something your girlfriend wants you to do, but you don't? Well, I'd say you can't. Unless you want to make her mad. But just remember one thing. This doing things that others don't like, it's a two-way street. If you give in gracefully this once, she'll probably be willing to compromise in the future on something that she doesn't want to do, but you do. You have to store these up like credits. You see, if you go to a woman and you say, I'll do this for you if you do that for me, she'll always be reasonable enough to at least be willing to discuss it. Next, we received a message from Crystal in Toronto. Where should I go on my vacation? Well, Crystal, I would suggest you go someplace you haven't been before. And I'd also just suggest um, maybe a bit more clarity in your question. Um, you don't give me much to work with here. Uh, maybe offer some possible destinations in mind or something, but uh, basically the world is your oyster, so go someplace you haven't been and have a great time. And we have an email from Jenny from New York, New York. He says, I was watching a movie set like back when they called paper parchment. What's the difference? Well, Jenny, to get right down to the brass tacks, as it were. Paper is made from plant fiber, usually wood, cellulose, or pulp from grasses such as um, reeds. Uh, whereas parchment is made from stretched uh, hide, usually calf skin, sheep skin, or goat skin. That is uh, thinly sliced and dried. Uh, the easiest way to remember it is this. Paper comes from plant fiber. Parchment 
comes from animals. Well, I was hoping for some participation in the show uh, today. I'd like to thank all those who send in emails. Um, hopefully I've answered these. I will also be posting uh, your emails uh, on my blog. That's uh, theskinabeat.blogspot.com and with uh, my answers, well, the gist of my answers, and uh, we hope for more. Send them in. That you can send them in to Twitter at Skeena Beat at the Skeena Beat. Sorry, and. Also, email us at theskinabeat at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Also, join our live broadcasts. We send tweets out. Uh, we will be sending tweets out before every single one. So, follow us and come out and enjoy. We'd love to chat one on one live. So, so I'd like to thank everyone for joining me for this episode. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. That's again at the Skeena Beat. Have a great May long weekend, and we'll see you soon. So, this is the Skin of Beat signing off, saying goodbye for now.